One of the most faked belts of all time is the Louis Vuitton initials belt. Before I go ahead and share some tips with you on how you can spot a fake, there are three belts on the screen now, only one is real. Let me know which one you think it is. So on the screen now, top is real, middle and bottom are both fake. So there are quite a few things to mention on this first belt. I'll breeze through them really quickly. Firstly, on the LV initials belt, which have either a gold or silver finish, it should have a very glossy look to it. This one almost has a brushed finish and that lets us know it's a fake straight away. Whilst the real one on top isn't gold, you can see there's a huge difference in the shine on the buckle and like I said, that is a big indicator. Secondly, the pattern on this LV belt is actually wrong. What you'll notice is that the smaller flower design is actually cut off too much. So here I'm referring to this small flower and this one as well. On the real ones, you should be able to see the horizontal leaves. You can kind of see them at the top here, but if you look at the bottom, they are cut off. If you take a look now at the real one at the top, and the higher level fake which is at the bottom now you can see that this flower design is actually correct and so whilst you won't be able to use this to spot every single replica lv belt it will help you eliminate the low tier fakes so i've now got the fake at the bottom and the genuine lv belt on top another indicator on the low tier belt is the color of the stitching and as you can see here it's much lighter than it should be If we turn the belt over, we may be able to spot a few other easy ways to spot fakes. So here we're looking at the back of the buckle. As you can see, the finishing is very poor. And if we move down the belt and look at the imprinting of the sizing and the LV stamping, we can see that the fonts are terrible, spacing's poor. So if you see any of these signs, you probably are dealing with a low quality fake. So that sums up everything on the low quality fake. What we're gonna do now is leave this one out of the equation and move on to the higher quality fakes on the market. So judging by the closeness of the two belts we've got left here, you can easily see how people tend to get away with scamming other people online trying to sell fakes as real. Hopefully the things I'll show you in the remainder of this video will help you avoid this completely. So for starters, I would recommend looking at the buckle positioning. The real one is at the top, the fake is at the bottom. And what you'll see is that on LV reversible belts, the buckle will be quite close to the edge. And whilst on the topic of this strap, you will notice that the genuine monogram Makassar print is more textured on the real deal and the color of the strap is actually slightly different as well turning the buckle over you can see we do have a difference on the back of the buckle this isn't actually an indicator of a fake if you go back a few years the reversible belts did have backs that looked more like the fake which is on the right here the real ones the newer ones look like this one which is on the left despite the similarities between the two metal buckles if we look at the calf leather on the fake we can see it's already creasing without even being used the real one looks and feels a lot better in terms of quality and the stitching going down the sides is also way more prominent Lastly, it's always a good idea to look at the embossing on the inside of the strap. Here you're going to find the manufacturing details, the model number and the size. Any fake that is of decent quality will have replicated these details perfectly. So like I did mention in a previous video, what I would say is look at how it's been embossed into the strap and not to look too much into what the actual details say. You will still want to check that the model number matches up to the belt it is. But given that this information is usually published on LV's website under the specific product, most fakes will replicate it as you would have seen here. So like I said, look at how it's been embossed. On the genuine LV belts, what you will find is that the wording looks like it has been embossed more deeply. Whereas on a lot of the higher quality fakes, you will find that the embossing looks a lot more faint so hopefully by this point in the video i've shown you enough stuff to spot a fake lv belt what i'm going to do before i go though is run through a few more tips in relation to the packaging so we've got the fake on the left the real on the right what you're going to see is that the fake is way too dark if you want to be really picky the louis vuitton lettering is too big and not spaced enough on the fake either moving on to the little envelopes we've got the fake at the top real at the bottom once again we've got the same color issue with the fake being too dark and the texture being wrong looking at the ribbon which comes wrapped around the box you'll see that the real one is darker thicker, better quality, and the Louis Vuitton print stands out much more. Last up, we have the dust bags, and other than the color, the main difference is in the spacing of the Louis Vuitton print. So that covers every tip I could think of to give you on how to spot fake LV belts. If you found it useful, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys again on the next video.